Deaf and Tribe, what up, what up? We back at it. We back activated. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Go subscribe to the tribe and turn your notification bell up to all so you don't miss none of this game that I'm dropping on your brain. Do you dig what I'm saying? Now, first things first, I got a shout out to all the tribe members that downloaded my personal development course. If you haven't downloaded the Deaf and Program, you are definitely missing out. Make sure you click that link below in the description box. But if you made your purchase, make sure to check your email i personally sent you an email with my times of availability for our one-on-one -on -one zoom call as promised and as y'all seen in the last video we shouted out some tribe members this video we got some more shout out to yvonne cooper gerard warren markel robinson gwen meadows and aman khan salute to every last one of y'all on y'all personal development journey all right focus on what you can control write that down only focus on what you can control 95% of the problems I've had in my life were from things that were self-imposed that I added into my life that were exterior, which means that I made sure that they got into my database. Now, these are things like you getting mad in traffic. These are things like you getting mad at somebody you don't know that's talking crazy. These are things like you getting mad that somebody's not replying back to you. Somebody's talking behind your back. These are uncontrollables. I was talking with my homeboy and he was irritated about his little brother not having no hustle, not being motivated, not being influenced by how he is and how he moves. And I told him, you lost for that, bro. You really tripping because you only have control over you. You do not have control over this person, even though this is your little brother, even though they are part of your bloodline. We could take it further than that. Even if this is your seed, you don't have control over that baby. You were once somebody's baby. You were once somebody's seed. And guess what? You became an adult. You made your own choices. Your parents probably thought the same thing. They probably thought that they would be able to control your actions from the womb to the tomb. They were sadly mistaken. Look at you today, making sure that you unlearn the wrong programming that they instilled to your mind at an early age. So if your parents cannot control you and you've grown up and had your own children and now you realize you cannot control them, you can be of influence to them that they live properly as they walk into adulthood and they make their own choices. Well, then we cannot be ignorant and think that we could control anybody else walking on planet Earth or any of the situations going on outside of us. That's why we have to create our reality. That's why we have to create our environment. We cannot get mad at exterior problems when we have no control over them. A lot of the problems that I went through in life, I look back now and I wish I would have known this type of stuff. I wish I would have been aware of this. Majority of humans have lost sight of the little control that they have over self, their memory box. How many humans really have memorized their emergency contacts number? How many humans memorize their partner's number, their sibling's number, their business partner's number, their best friend or their children? We don't do that today. Majority of the humans, they put the number in their smartphone, in the contacts, they put a name on it, they close it, and when it's time to contact this person, they ask Siri or they press that name and it calls them. But what if you are in a situation where it's a real emergency? Are you gonna have that phone? What if that phone is gone? You can't even call anyone because you've lost sight of the little things that you had control over as a human being. What about your directions? What about if you are traveling in your town, in your city, in your state, in your country, just moving about? Do you have the proper directions for north, south, east and west because you've been practicing on yourself? You've been practicing the directions around the places that you want to travel to or the places that you frequent to. Or are you dependent on AI and technology and you're dependent on the GPS system? Majority of the people I know, I can ask them right now, hey, do you know how to get to and from from this place to this place? And they're going to say, hold on, give me the address. Let me copy and paste it. Let me put it in my GPS system. So that means as humans, we've lost control over the little things. But majority of humans, they want to chime in on celebrities. They want to be in the comments section on the social media outlets talking back and forth with trolls or low vibrational energy. They want to talk about how they're going to cancel Pete Diddy, but they ain't canceled that succubus that keep draining them in a city. They ain't canceled the food that's detrimental to their health. They ain't canceled the distractions that's keeping them away from their goals that they set out for themselves. But we want to make sure that we are involved with everything else that's going on. So it's self-imposed. 
We are causing these things on ourselves. That's why I say, fellas, make sure that you practice in SEMA retention. If you don't have control over your actions in that bedroom, if you don't have control over your lustful thoughts, ladies, stop busting it open. If it's multiple men with low vibrations that keep entering your portal, you will end up being drained too. You will end up being that low vibrational being. And that's not what you want to be. That's why I look at majority of the people in relationships and I say that they're lost. I hear women say he's so controlling. Men say she's so controlling. How? This person just has an intense influence and it's dark. If it has you to where you feel like they're controlling and you stressed out and you got anxiety, then that energy that they have over you is dark. But you're not even working on yourself properly. You're not working on yourself correctly. You're not learning yourself the proper way for you to exit, for you to escape this energy that you settled for. Even if you want to keep somebody around, you got to make sure that you are working on yourself because the way that you keep these people around is not by control. It's not by force. It's by inspiration. It's by teaching them. It's by being of service. They have to want to experience you on a daily. They need to have access to you so they're going to work on themselves like you you working on yourself. You don't have to try to force people to be around you and get on your level. You don't have to try to tell people, hey man, I promise you could do better and keep on telling them sounding like a broken record, repeating yourself. That's not how you do it. Let them people fall off. Let them go. You are only in control of you because it's really like a spit in the face when you are changing and then you're trying to help people out and they're not trying to work on themselves. That's a spit in your face. And what you're going to do is start to downgrade yourself by trying and trying and trying. So instead, separate and let them people catch up. All you can control is you. So don't look at what the government's doing. Don't look at what the Internet is saying. Don't even listen to what your boss is saying. Your boss could be all up on your neck. You know what you got to do? Get up out that situation. That's the uncontrollable. You can't control how your boss is talking. You cannot control how your boss thinks. All you can do is work on yourself so you'll never have a person like that talking to you like that ever again in your life, all right? Now, if y'all are new to this tribe, if you are new to this family, make sure you press a like on this video. That lets YouTube know that this video was very informative and you know, like I know, when I get on this camera, I'm coming to drop some game on your brain so you ain't out here looking lame. Do you dig what I'm saying? Now, stay hungry, stay healthy, stay ready to keep from getting ready. And until next time, Deaf and Tribe, I'm out. Peace.